I, I feel like I haven't made a video in quite a while. But, uh, one of the traditions I do here is my Christmas update 2013, a couple years ago. Salt and battery, salt, salt and bat, salt and battery 777 usually puts one up. I think Stevie Breach puts one up, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Freaking yeah, 88. Miguel puts one up, but anyway. Here's what I got for Christmas, guys. Got a new toothbrush. Um, I don't give backstories as well. Uh, this toothbrush I need because I haven't gotten a toothbrush in quite a while. And it's been a couple of years. And Oral-B is the best way to go. My mom realized that I needed a new toothbrush. Um, I got a new DVD. And the funny thing about this is I don't get wrestling DVDs often on Christmas. No, this is not wrestling. This is a long island medium. And to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting to get this, but my mom ended up getting it for me. It's season one. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine uh, episodes. And my and I got burn notice as well. I don't get a lot of DVDs for Christmas for some reason. I guess this is the way it is. Oh my god. Two new Xbox games. I got a uh, NBA 2K14 with the uh, slot open here. This is brand new. I've wanted this since I came out, but my mom told me to wait, and, and I guess she pre-ordered it and I got all the bunch of codes. But I also got a Dota B 2K14 as well, um, which I already kind of spoiled it. I got it back in October. And then my mom said, oh, you gotta give it back. You're not gonna get it till Christmas. I was like, fuck, really? But, that's all right. Ugh. Um, let's see. I got a wallet, finally. Uh, I haven't gotten a wallet yet. And I got nothing in here. Three, and I got one, two, three... Four or five dollars, which reminds me. Ugh. I just initially thought of this. You know what? Fuck it, I'll do it later. But I have a new wallet. I have like a bunch of dollar bills in my drawer that I'm going to put in there, but next stop is a job. So there's that. Now, uh, let's see. I got a book, John Taffer's new book, Raise the Bar. Uh, for any of you that watches Bar Rescue, you know what I'm talking about. He promoted this book for forever, and I wanted it, and my mom said to wait till Christmas, which kind of surprised me, because, like, November or October, because this book got released in October, I think. Somewhere around there. She always goes, wait till, wait till Christmas. Which surprises me, and then doesn't surprise me. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's see, I got Klondike bars. Um, mint chocolate chip candy and caramel. I don't know, but I guess it's pretty cool. They're like little miniature ones. So there's that one. Um, I got uh lifesaver gummies in my stocking. These are all for my stocking, except the um, let's see the Klondikes, these, and that's it. Oh, and my wallet and. My toothbrush and my DVD. But, yeah. Lifesaver well, gummies. Uh, whenever I go to a live event, I always sneak these in. And when I meet a wrestlers, I usually eat these in line. I don't know. It's just a ritual I do. And for the last thing in the bag, is there two more things? Or just one more thing? Oh, there's two more things. Um, I got a new giant shirt. Unfortunately, they're not doing too well this year. But it's a pretty nice shirt. It's not how much it is, but it's a nice shirt. It's a pretty good shirt. 
I'm not even going to bother you folding you back up because I'm a bitch. That's alright though. What I am going to do is put these Xbox ones back. And then put those lightsabers in the drawer. So that's it for the bag, I think. Oh no, there's one more thing. Uh, Andy's Candies. I get these every year. Just a simple thing. Uh, which is nice. I guess. And... I got $500 in Best Buy gift cards. I tweeted at the Stevie Breach, and I asked him for, like, uh, which rules of what I should buy for DVDs. And I got, uh, two, three more things. A WWE Special Edition of the Year in photos. And I wasn't expecting this at all. I knew something about it, but I didn't really think about it. Uh, I'm going to a WWE Live event. Uh, WWE Live, and I got backstage passes, so I'll be meeting some wrestlers. Um, my dad works at the Civic Center, and it says Saturday, January 11, 2014, 7.30 bell time at the Glensville Civic Center, and I got ringside. For those of you who haven't watched my uh, Day in the Life, uh, it's the same spot I will be sitting. Um, and... I don't think there's an address. Yeah, there's no address in here. But yeah, so I guess that's pretty awesome. And two more things. I'm going to put this back because that's basically my ticket. I don't want to lose that. Um, yeah, I can put you right here. There we go. So there's that. That sticks right out. And my mom didn't know what the hell she was talking about. She got me two figures, which I wanted, but she didn't know how to order them. Uh, Damien Sandow, uh, Elite, uh, which I've wanted forever. I've looked around forever for this. Call me crazy, but I have. And Ryback, the WWE Elite. These are from 22s. I don't even tell you. Elite 21, and this is from 22, isn't it? Or is this 21? Yeah. Series 22, and this is Series 21, so series off, but I don't really, I'm not a huge collector, Mark. For those of you who know me well, I haven't done, like, a vlog in forever, but I'm pretty pumped about my wallet, and I'm gonna add some more cash to my wallet here. So, you know what? I like it. I like Christmas. I'm gonna be back with a Day in the Life video, and also, too, our Rob Van Dam and Tommy Dream are coming, uh, in our area. For those of you who are local and in the Glens Falls region. Um, mess private message me or comment on this video, and I will give you the information where the meet and greet is located and what the prices are. So, guys, uh, I'll be doing a day in the life, January 11th, and of uh, meeting Tommy Dreamer and RVD, and the Dota Live event and Control Chaos. Uh, the meet and greet and the live event land on the same time, so my think my thing is, is Raw Van Dam and Tommy Dreamer might show up there, or it might be just Tommy. I think it's just Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, I think it's just Tommy Dreamer, but he hasn't been with the company in forever, so I don't think he's gonna show up. I think the organization that's putting it on just realized that uh, it falls on the same day. So guys, I will be back January 11th with a day in the life video. It may seem like a way far off, but trust me, it won't. And uh, it's a Christmas time vlog, and I will see you all in the um, next video.